I don't think I take a pasture today because I just think I'm always worried about what problems I've got in my life. I'm not enjoying my time in the current time frame. I'm not making the most out of my time. My parents always say that your school years are the best times of your life, but for me, it just doesn't feel like that right now. But I think that one day, in hindsight, I'll realise that they were probably right. I still want to engage in anything and I won't get really get anything out of it. So I thought, if I keep messing about, I'm not going to get a job. I need to learn that or they're just not going to get anywhere. It's always plain and boring, but just get on with it because if you don't engage or whatever, you're not going to get anything out of it and you're not going to get a good job or qualifications. I want to make a change by helping the future generation. I want to own my own nursery in the future so I can help support young people. I want to help children develop and learn before they go to reception. I think the government are responsible mainly because they're feeding us lies. We need to stop all the war, get rid of David Cameron first things first get £30 a week for going to college if you're 16 to 19. And he stopped the EMA as well, which is quite bad, I reckon, one of the bad decisions. He didn't, he didn't even think to replace that income, you know what I mean? Didn't even replace it. He's protesting. The more of us there are, the better our chances there will be for us to make a change. Do your research, read your books, do what you've got to do. I think knowledge is important because when people have a better understanding of life, they can make better decisions for themselves. A lot of the time we are forced views, like the views that are expressed on the media become our views because that's the only views we know. But I think there's too much negativity in the world so people need to sort of open their mind and just, I know, just stop all the negativity, stop this image of being like the best by like putting other people down. Because a small minority have committed antisocial behaviour and it represents the whole young community. I feel as a young person that young people are always shown in a negative manner in the media and there are never any positive stories.
there's three types of bullying. Um, one is cyber, which is online. One is physical, which is making physical contact. Another is verbal, which is using hurtful words. Some are insecure, so they take it out on others, or they've had an experience of bullying, so they take it out on them at school. I think society should take part in a bullying awareness week, so it raises the awareness, because some people don't realise it's that bad, so they overlook it. In school, you can have um, people come in talking about their real life experience, or a theatre group coming in, which could be more effective than a leaflet. I want to be free to make my own decisions and not have others make it for me. Some people might like their parents like pushing them to do better, because if like, the parents don't give them any guidance, they might just go off the rails. Authority should let the youth decide what they want to do. Some youth aren't mature enough to make their own decisions. I think it'd be a good idea to let them have a little bit of freedom. I shouldn't have to be what you want me to be. I, I know the parents are just trying to help when they guide you, but I feel that you should be given a bit more space in making your own decisions. Uh, also at school and stuff, it seems that you're forced into doing what everyone else does, because if you don't sort of fit the mould, then you won't really survive. So I do, I do care what other people think of me, but in, in most everyday situations, it doesn't really matter what others think of you.